Hi, so before I install this flapper, I wanted to mention something that no other video or even the directions mentioned. And that is that sometimes you have to adjust this float up and down uh, before you actually install it. And the reason why you have to adjust this float is there might be instances where the flapper closes too quickly, in which case the water entering the bowl is insufficient. So there's too little water entering the bowl, meaning this thing is closing too fast. Uh, so in that case, you're going to have to adjust this float lower towards this thing, uh, towards this flapper. And the way you do that is most of these will either have a clip or a rubber washer at the bottom and you simply move these up and down. So for example, this, this rubber piece, I, I can move up along the chain, in which case I can move this float higher and then lock it in place by pushing the other end of the washer against it. So uh, there's two situations. Either there's too much water entering the toilet bowl, in which case you will move this higher along the chain. But if there's not enough water entering, meaning this thing's closing too fast, you move this float towards, towards this flapper. So um, that's one of the tips I wanted to mention before actually installing this because you might run into that problem and not understand why it's happening. And also the instructions don't actually explain this. I didn't see any other video that explains this. Uh, they just explain basically the obvious, which is hooking you know these rubber holes into the um, you know into the toilet bowl. So, but that's really what I wanted to mention. So you you might have to adjust it several times before it becomes perfect. So so it's not that the flapper is not compatible with your bowl. You know that's not the reason. The reason is you have to adjust this float. Um, but that's really what I wanted to mention, and I'm going to go ahead and install this. So I briefly did want to show you other style of floats. So for example, if you have this chain type float and it is locked in by basically a plastic washer, the way to adjust it, and this is less convenient than the rubber washer, is to actually remove these and uh, you know simply move your float up and down based on that. Uh, again, this is uh, less convenient because you actually have to remove these a plastic placeholders and put it along the right length of chain um, but that's the other type of float that you might run into um, and let me go ahead and actually install this now so so the easiest way to empty the tank is actually to take the old float and lift it up a little bit until the water uh, drains and the reason why that's the easiest is it won't actually trigger the action with this flusher to actually refill the water. So once you let this down, why once you let the water down slowly by just lifting it a little bit and letting the tank drain, it just remains drained without having to use a bucket or a cup or emptying it. Now I'm going to install this and the way to install it is actually very simple. There's holes here which corresponds to these hooks here and you simply put it down and hook it in, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put it down here and you know, hook these in by sim simply by you know, bending them and hooking it in. And that's, that's the flapper. And once again, as I mentioned before, you might have to adjust this float up and down for the desired amount of time that the flapper actually floats and closes such that you have the optimal amount of water that is entering your toilet bowl when you flush. Now um, you would once again adjust this float uh, depending on how much water or, or whether the flapper is closing too fast or too slowly in which case there's too much water or too little water entering the tank. Uh, but that's really what I wanted to mention and uh, obviously you just you know hook this chain with the clip onto this onto this uh, flusher here and that's really all you have to do so now that I've hooked it in I am simply gonna refill the tank by triggering the 
release of the water into the tank by pushing the flush even though the tank itself is empty. And you can see I have the flow very close to the flapper here because uh, you know that's the optimal for my flushing and, and the water entering the tank. So now I'm really done. I'm just going to speed up the video and give it one more flush. And uh, you know, I hope this helped. And uh, please subscribe. And thank you for watching.